What's up guys, welcome back to Japan, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we have a super awesome, it's like a S chassis meet, they got a bunch of Sylvia's, 180 SX's, but real quick, if you haven't seen, check out the shirt. This is a example of what the shirt looks like. If you guys want one, man, they come in all different shapes, and, or, <laughs> they come in all different colors and sizes, so if you want one, click the link in the description, get your own, support the channel, check out these cars. So as you can see, my car is the only non s chassis here we have some 180s down there in the end s14s s13s s15s some really awesome cars not everybody's here yet but i figured we might as well get started real quick check out this hilux that is a pretty awesome suv man i like the wheels ah love japan anyway <laughs> check out s15 varietta so this is only the second one i've ever had on the channel second one i've ever seen in real life they are S15s, they are convertibles, they are hardtop convertibles. If you guys don't know, super, pretty rare car. I do like the blue with the uh, white Volks on there. Really solid col color combo. I love the dashes on these, the white face gauges, double din. That's, that's pretty awesome. Like the subtle Sylvia everywhere. This one is an automatic, which is not a huge deal, but you can always, uh, Fix that on the back end, you know. I like how they say Sylvia in the headlights. It's only the S15s that I know that do that. But the Varietta is a really cool. And with the white on white Spec S, rocking some SSR wheels. Got a little lip spoiler and a, a roof wing here, roof spoiler. This is a combo that I really like. I had one, <laughs> a little setup like this on my uh, 180 or my 240SX back in the day. 240 fastback had. A three piece uh, lip spoiler there and a roof spoiler combo look really good. Check out X's titanium exhaust. It's a clean car, man. Look at that big old tack. Man, that's pretty awesome. I love S15s. Then we have the gunmetal spec S here. These wheels look like old 350z wheels are they are they the same if you guys know let, let me know in the comments i've always been curious it's a good looking car good starting point and if you really want to modify it, it looks like it's basically all stock i do see a wood steering wheel inside it's probably nardy no oh, it's a wood momo wheel inside that's pretty cool Got another S15 here. This one's a Spec R. You can see the front mount hide behind the license plate there. Aftermarket front fenders, aftermarket rear fenders, full kit on it. This car's pretty aggressive. This is chick driven. She actually organized this event. This is a really, really cool S15. I love these, I love these Spec R uh, wings. an aggressive looking car look at the stance in the back <laughs> that is awesome another s15 here with the slightly more aggressive uh lip lip spoiler and roof spoiler sitting on some volk wheels this is actually a kanji plate so a japanese gentleman owns this he seems like a really cool dude tasteful mods I like the taillights you got the d1 spec wheel nismo shift knob it's actually the same wheel I had on my car before I replaced it for the uh, Bomo. But this one also is a spec R, as you can see. Big old front mount, looking good. Man, I love the Sylvia badge. I think that's a really cool badge. I want an S15, guys. Don't worry. The GTR didn't hear me say that. <laughs> we have some more coming in now. You guys remember this car from last video? What's up, man? GTR wheels. Another S15 wide body in the works. Got the blue with the lime, lime green wheels. That's a pretty cool setup there. I like the color coming. You saw that one before? Yeah. Pretty sweet, right? Heck yeah. yeah. Super clean, Koki S14. I love the red wheels. This is a King's, you can see the front mount. So it is a Sylvia K's. I love the wheel color with the red. I think it really pops. That's a good looking car, man. Oh yeah. Ah, trying not to get hit. 
man, fitment is really nice in this car. This is probably one of the cleanest cars here. Uh, excellent job. I've talked to the guy who owns it. He's a pretty cool guy. And this S14 is also in the works. You can see the drift stitches, the wide body. He got the car recently. Check out the fitment in the rear, though. So he's going to go with a full black paint job with red metallic flake. It's going to look freaking awesome. It's a really, it's a really uh, aggressive build here. Check out the fenders. Aftermarket hood, big front mount. And that thing, once it's done in one color, this thing is gonna look beautiful. Super aggressive, really unique out here. I like it. Got the Zinke S14, white on white. This guy, I see this guy driving around. We always give each other a thumbs up. He's a cool dude. Check out the aftermarket, front, aftermarket fenders. Look at the fit, fit in the rear though. That's solid. Got the rear wiper. Here's another really clean Koki with factory aero. You can see the front bumper, the side skirts, the wing. It's got Recaro seats in it. This is a good looking car, man. I love the S14 Silvia wing. If you're wondering, it is a K, so it is SR20 DET. Got the Momo wheel. White face gauges like all the other S14s. Double den. Oh man, those seats are nice. Really nice. If you guys know me, you know that I'm a huge 180SX fan. I had five Fastback 240s in the States. Oh man, these cars never get old. I think they're beautiful, especially with the Type X, Type -X kit. We got that, get that one last. Man, so this is got a aftermarket, aftermarket kit on it, aftermarket hood. You see, the, you see the front mount there. It is wide body front fenders. It's got wide body rear quarter panels. Little GP, GP Sport style roof, uh, roof spoiler there. I do like those taillights. Man, but I like this color. Really clean. Oh, I like it. Uh huh? I like it. You like it? Yeah, it's awesome, right? Yeah. What do you think, Ryder? Awesome? Yeah. <laughs> so I like this color, it's really clean subtle the the wheels the uh, bronze see our guys go go well with it looks like a pretty clean interior it does have a dash mat i know a lot of s13 or i'm sorry a lot of i know a lot of 180 sixes are notorious for cracking dashes i had all my 240s back in the states other than one had cracked dashes detachable wheel it's got the energy uh quick release looks like he's got check out the brid low max seats carbon fiber accents that's a pretty cool setup they are not adjustable, so that does not look extremely comfortable. Oh, check out the br the Brit armrest too. That is dope. That's a some really tasteful mods on this car, man. Good work. And then the piece of the resistance, the white 180SX Type X Koki. So this has got to be, I think, a 97 or 98. Aftermarket hood, aftermarket front fenders. Got the rock of the sunroof. Aftermarket, I'm sorry, <laughs> Type X wing. Koki tails, my favorite tail lights of all the 180s and 240s. Man, nice little fender flares, aftermarket wheel, doubled in inside. Man, that is a super clean car. And we're not done, we still got some more to do. We got this kanji plate, oopsie, Japanese owned S15. Going wide body, you can see the front fenders are wide body. Got the rear rear quarter panels, getting some work done, making it his own. It's gonna be really awesome when it's done. These S15s look really, really, really cool once they're wide bodied. But look at the fitment on this rear wheel with the over fender. That looks really good. Got a Recaro seat, it's like a Nardi wheel. Got some blast pipes down there <laughs> sticking out. Don't walk, don't walk by, you will bust your shin on these. <laughs> we got a couple more over here. We only have one S S13 that showed up today, but so we hit up this 180SX. Looks like a work in progress. Gonna get a paint job soon, I'm sure. It's gonna be really clean once it's done. Oh, look at that dash. That dash is in perfect condition. Got the sparkle wheel. Man, I'm jealous, man. That dash looks good. I know all the other S15 guys are probably jealous too. Well, it's got this kind of engine, these kind of mods, like but the Seafoam two-tone 
S13, just hanging out here by himself. None of his friends came, I guess. <laughs> really awesome car, like it just screams JDM. It's got two red, red, uh, red leather bread seats in there with a roll cage. That is crazy. This car is automatic currently. I don't know his current plans. Maybe he's gonna swap it manual. That is, ooh, that is really nice. I love the color combo. Man, this is like, what, when I envision S13 Silvia, in my mind, this is what I envision. Beautiful. Everybody knows. If you've been watching the channel, you know this is Lance's Celadine. Super clean. Wow. He has small PP, so he makes big money on cars. I just got done throwing the turbo in it. No, did you? Yeah. What? You got a new turbo? Yeah. You can't really see it because it's oh. still a snaily, small snaily boy. Is it? Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell down there. What turbo is it? It's a 2871, but I put a, a billet and a high flow wheel on it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is it ball bearing? Yeah. Oh, nice. 2871R, pretty freaking sick. I like how your Altec catch can is just not hooked up to anything. Yeah, so <laughs> behind that, there's the oil so this... return on the bottom of the turbo. Mm -hmm. I had to like redneck bat me up on it, and I didn't have any hose, so I just took the hose off. The oh, fair enough. And use that. So I like he's so. Used, he's going the uh, Wi Fi oil catch can here. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> but this car is super clean. If you guys haven't been watching the channel, it's been on the channel quite a bit. Got beautiful wheels. Oh, it's EG. EG hatch, and I see a GC8 STI right there. But Lance has done a tremendous job, tremendous job with this car. It's really dirty, like nasty on the inside because I literally just got back from Look at the, on it. the Nismo box, yeah. the Nardi wheel. Yeah, nobody cares. It's beautiful, man. Koki tails. Is it actual Koki or is it Zinke? This is a real pipe fix. Okay. Oh, I thought it was 97 they changed these taillights. No, it's uh, oh, 96 I'm so dumb. to 98. When okay. They came out with gotcha, gotcha. So, man, I stand corrected. The 96 has also had the cookie tails. This car is beautiful. And there's Amber. This is her last car meet. She's coming to take pictures. Oh, such a sad day for her. But that's, just want to show you guys this beautiful car. And of course, as I'm starting to leave, some nice cars show up. This is Robin's car. He is a master mechanic out here with one of the cleanest S15 Celia's I've ever seen in real life. It is a spike, it is a spec R. Sitting on beautiful wheel choice with the T37 SLs. He has a pretty crazy brake setup here. He has ST, STI calipers? STI calipers. STI calipers, Skyline rear brake uh, rotor. Up front, he has a Evo 6 through 9 rotor under the STI Brembo caliper. <laughs> he says it stops on a dime. I imagine it does. Oh my goodness, this car. And he uses this car for what it's built for. It's actually a race car that he drives mountains and tracks, right? So as you can see, he has hit some tires because he doesn't know how to drive very well. No, I'm just playing. He's actually a pretty good driver. He's hit one tire, that, and that's the market left. This car is super clean. I'm going to feature it, actually. Go for some rides. I heard it's actually pretty quick. It's a really, is it? Really clean build, man. I love this car so much. My favorite, well, yeah, I'd probably say my favorite S15 on island. Beautiful, beautiful car. I had everything packed up, ready to go. And then JJ pulled up in this super clean S15 Spec R with rocking the red paint with the black weds. Man, this thing is super, super clean. It even got the sunroof. I know Jason, Captain 26, is really excited about this right now. <laughs> it looks to be basically a factory in interior. Look at the aftermarket shift knob. Man, it's a beautiful car. This is probably like showroom worthy. This is gorgeous. Sorry if it's a little shaky, my stabilizer died, so. Man, this is a super clean car. Hey, real quick, shout out to Manny in Poland. He turned JJ onto the channel. Appreciate it, Manny. <laughs> Appreciate the support out there. Hope you're having a good time. So he just replaced the headlights. Look at this. This is the cleanest S15 Sylvia headlight for OEM I've ever seen. This thing is beautiful. Thank you very much. Man, this is a gorgeous car. And the red, oh, I can't get over the red. It looks so good. Yeah, we washed it and it's gonna rain. You can see the yeah, clouds. That's right. <laughs> Woo! That's life in Oki right there. Man, the interior on this is super clean. Got the got the boost gauge on the pillar. White face gauges. I love these Sylvia S15 uh, steering wheels. It's a really good looking car. Oh, bye S13. 
<laughs> Man, beautiful, beautiful car. He just got here in November. Picked this car up. He said it sat for about a month before we could drive it. Uh, I'm sure he's been driving the crap out of it since then, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it basically, is it basically stock? Uh, basically stock, yeah. Uh, there's a filter, exhaust, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they come with 247 horsepower from the factory, so Not intake bad. and exhaust is plenty for a car that weighs what 2,900 pounds, something like that. Man. Beautiful car, dude. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming out, dude. Hey, thank you. I'll see you later, man. All right, brother. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Some awesome cars came out. I got to do a little JDM experience. I'm going to do a car sale video coming up soon. I might do one today. I'm not sure. I'm going to drive by a couple car lots and see what they have. But like, comment, as always. I'll see you next time.